all right so we're camping believe it or not it's winter time we don't usually camp in the winter time we're kind of fair weather campers but look what we did we bought ourselves an RV. Let's check it out, guys. This is my new RV. It's a 29 foot wind sport Thor. Just do a quick walk around on it. It's a couple years use, but it's sweet. It's got everything. We got solar and it's pretty dope, guys. So this is our inaugural time out. This is the first time. So you're gonna see a lot more of this, guys. We're gonna start doing a lot of traveling and you get to see us make our newbie mistakes and you get to see, oh, look who's with me. Turn around, look who else we got here. Let's see here, hey buddy. There's Norman, Norman the cat, hey buddy. Yeah, so you get to go along with us and you get to see all the mistakes we make and laugh at us and all the cool locations we're going to go to. And this is just the beginning of many videos for the future. All right, guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> down this path which seems pretty steep now <laughs> and we are gonna go check out this lake that's down here never been there whoa what I tell you a little steep guys <laughs> um, yeah we're gonna go check out this lake and see what it looks like and you know um, who knows maybe we'll do some fishing or throw in some crawdad traps or just check it out check out this path Look how steep that is, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. It's really dark here, guys. But, check out this little guy. Hey, little buddy. It's a little he salamander. He's amazing. He's... Let's go ahead and let's pick him up. Come here, little buddy. Let's see here, come here. This is, I believe, a rough-scaled newt. You usually see these swimming in the water. You can tell by that orange underbelly. They're actually, believe it or not, from my understanding, they do have a level of poison on them so that they're not eaten. So let's let go ahead and just release him right over here so that he doesn't get stepped on because we didn't even see him. That little guy was that little guy was camouflaged. So I'm glad Amy spotted him because I sure didn't. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's another one. Look at that, guys. They're all over out here, apparently. Come here, little buddy. Come here. They match the color of the leaf. Yeah. Let's put him right here. We got to really be careful. Yeah, yeah. Better watch our step. They're all over. All right, so it's actually a really short walk down to the lake. Um, but here, you guys be the judge of the beauty of this place. Wow. We got the fog going across the water. This is really gorgeous. It's hard to believe that this is January in Oregon, but it is. I'm not lying to you guys. This is, like I said, what's the name of this lake? Lake Marie. Lake Marie. So if you guys are curious, if you're wanting to travel and check it out, it's Lake Marie. It's at, as I said, the Umpqua Lighthouse State Park. And it's taken care of pretty well out here. It's really beautiful. Let's see what kind of critters we can find out here.
So we're here in Winchester Bay. It's just a couple minutes from the Umqua Lighthouse State Park. And it's kind of a neat little town if you've never been here. It's really, really small. It's kind of what you would expect from a little coastal town, but it has a few great little uh, restaurants, that kind of stuff here. A lot of little uh, resources for if you want to go crabbing. So let's drive around and take a look. Okay, we're uh, cruising around Winchester Bay. Looks like we got a Mexican food restaurant, fish and chips, had clam chowder there. It was delicious. Cruising around through the parking lot here. I don't think that ship is too seaworthy. Man, I don't think I want to be the guy to find that out. All right, what else we got over here? Looks like we got us another restaurant and it says Jackson's Cafe and More. I wonder what more is. Maybe it's just more better. All right, coming around over here. Now this is the marina, or at least part of the marina. And as you can see, it's off season, hence the lack of boats. Um, normally during spring, summer, um, fall even, this place is pretty packed. And you can actually come down here and you can rent boats to take out for crabbing. Um, you're inside the bar here, so it's the water is really mild and it's actually pretty shallow. If you go out around, um, um, you know, the end over there, there's actually where it feeds out to the the bay. It's only like about, you know, at some places only like 10 feet deep. You can actually see the bottom. It's kind of fun if you throw the crab ring down on the bottom. Sometimes you can actually see crab down there. So here we got bedrocks on the bay. Um, just looks like, you know, honestly, I don't know what that place is, but it looks closed. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic right now, a lot of these places are closed. But unlike other places in Oregon, um, th here in Winchester Bay, you can actually eat inside some of the restaurants right now. Most of Oregon is shut down as far as inside eating but not here. Oh, Rockabilly's, that place looks pretty awesome. We may have to come back and check that out and get us some barbecue. All right, we're continuing along the back side of the buildings here. And just kind of let's see what else we got left. We got Dockside Gifts, just in case uh, they got, looks like fresh fudge and ice cream. Mm -mm. Gotta get me some of that next time I am in town. down here looking for the Umqua Lighthouse, it's supposedly a landmark. We drove right by it and it's not hard to see why. Check it out. Yes, that's it. That little tiny lighthouse. So you usually think that they're quite a bit bigger and right on the water, but that's not necessarily the case here. So there it is. It was built in 1894. It was first lit uh, December 31st, 1894. So let's go in and check it out. Yeah, take a look at it. All right, guys, well, that was a lot of fun. You know, that was our first time out in our RV. Woo! Um, let me introduce who we are. We are Slices of Pie. I am Paul. I'm Amy. And we are at a point in our life right now where our kids have moved out. We've spent the last 20 years raising children, um, devoting our time to them. And we have decided it's time for us. Me time. Me okay? time. So, we decided to go on an adventure. That's right. We've actually spent about a decade of downsizing. I mean, we've moved five different times 
we really explore the community that we're in. But we love to travel and downsizing really afforded us the ability to see some pretty cool places all over the world. You know, unfortunately, like all of us, we ran into this pandemic and we are adventurers. We mm -hmm. travel the world mm -hmm. and this really put a halt on what we could do and where we could go. So that was a major uh, factor in our deciding to get an RV and explore the United States. You know, we, we've been around, but we haven't been everywhere. No. There's a lot of things that we don't know about that a lot of people take for granted. They do it every day. And it's time for us to do that. Well, you know, it's funny because we spent so much time traveling the world and we hadn't even seen some things in our own home state. So in the silver lining in 2020 is we got to adventure Oregon a little bit. We saw Crater Lake National Park, which is only a few hours from our home, and we finally went. It was pretty awesome. And it really kind of triggered us to look a little bit more into kind of slow travel. Yeah, and you know, we decided it was a big factor on the size of our RV, where we want to go. Yeah. We don't want to be limited. You know, we, right. we a lot of people choose a large rig, but we decided we've been downsizing for so long, less is better. Yes, I you will know. say we did a ton, a ton of research on YouTube to the point where I was dreaming about it and I got really <laughs> stressed out. So I followed my own advice, like what would I tell me if I was my friend? And I came up with this list of all the things that I'd seen in different YouTube walkthroughs, um, all the advice I got from a ton of you guys. Thanks. I wish I Thanks, could list guys. you. I wish I could list you all. At the end of the day, I had a list of what I thought was important for what we needed, and I put it away, and then we adopted a cat. That cat allowed me to take a break from all the thinking, all the analysis, paralysis, the craziness we were starting to feel making this decision. And at the end of the day, when I happened to randomly check a local listing for a RV service place here in town, we live in Eugene, Oregon, we found exactly what we were looking for at a better price than we ever hoped to get. So it was awesome. And I felt much more confident about making an offer on this RV after getting the advice from all of you YouTubers. So again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, before we conclude here, we just want to say, what is slices of pie? And what is slices you know? of pie? So to us, slices of pie is balance in life. If all your eggs are in one basket, when that basket disappears, what do you have? You have to create something. And unfortunately, a lot of people end up stagnant or depressed. And, you know, to me, to Amy, age is a state of mind. You know, as we get older, we get more adventurous and more excited. So if you guys would like to follow us on our adventures, possibly live vicariously through us. Sure. Or you can go and you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. You can send us some ideas mm -hmm. of where we should go or when we're coming to your neck of the, of the woods, what's cool, what we should check out because we're open to everything. It would be really great if you could subscribe to our channel and that way you can get notified every time we put a video up so that you know, you can see where we're at and what we're doing. Most importantly, leave some comments. We're new here. We plan on seeing more of Oregon. Um, we definitely want to know what adventures you've been on and recommendations for us. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, thank you for watching this. We look forward to seeing you more. Yeah, and, you know, keep in mind, we are newbies. We, we are, are going to make mistakes. It's okay to laugh at us. We laugh at ourselves all the time. So <laughs> thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.